And what is up everybody, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming back for Zombie Bites. This is the weekend of May 22nd. Let's get at it. I don't, I don't know why I keep doing that bite. But we had an eventful week of news. Oh my God, we're going to talk all about... Uh, Ruby Rose and how that went. We're going to talk about Scream 5. Disney Springs had opened up and Universal Orlando as well made a big announcement. Um, no, it's not the opening date of the Born Supremacy show, but uh, it's something else. We're going to get all into that in this week's edition of Zombie Bites. So first up, we're going to talk about horror. I love horror, obviously. What we're going to talk about is, oh my gosh, Ruby Rose says goodbye to Batwoman after one season. Now they're saying that the role will be recast. Uh, a lot of people are stating that Ruby Rose had some sort of issues on the set. Uh, I believe that she almost uh, suffered a really seriously bad, very, very bad uh, accident. Welcome back. Welcome back. Batwoman. Yeah. It's official. And happened on set, uh, you had an injury. Um, one was that I was allergic to my cow, my mask. And but before that, I broke my neck basically on the show as well. Talk to me about so, this, because this is, you can't even just say it flippantly. This, it's, it's awful. You know, that along with probably the reception from, you know, a hateful community out there um, hating on, on her acting, which a lot of people compare to this. Yeah, so she's leaving the role. Uh, they're, you know, Batwoman has already been renewed for a second season. So, yeah, she left. They're going to replace her. Hopefully, it will be a better actress. Um, yeah. I never had high hopes. Um, I'm not a big Ruby Rose fan. Uh, I think her acting is horrible. I think she was miscast in this. So, moving on... Kevin James in a horror movie? Yes, the guy that you have seen in Adam Sandler movies and King of Queens has rocking a big manly dude beard and he is basically in this home invasion type movie called Becky. Um, I'm really excited to see uh, how this is going to go. It's rated R for strong bloody violence, grisly images and language. Um, I'm loving the look of Kevin James and it's going to be on demand on June 5th. We'll have a review on this channel. Can't believe that. Kevin James in a horror movie. Um, Search continues for four inmates who escaped federal custody this morning. Jeff, this gentleman lost his dog. Okay, well, why don't you give us your number? My dog is a Rottweiler. Purebred, or as the Germans call them, Rottweiler Metzgerhund. That's why you never let them mate with other breeds. You get the worst of both. Okay, I think it's time for you to go. Stay calm. I'm looking for a key. It has this symbol engraved on it. You seen it? No. Well, that leaves little Becky. Where's Becky? This, you know, what's funny is when you think of actors, um, you know, comedic actors, you know, comedians, they have such a range to do other stuff. Uh, it doesn't always work out that way when you have some like a serious actor trying to do comedy. Sometimes it could be a hit and sometimes it could be a miss. But I think of like Adam Sandler in, in um, Uncut Gems is what the movie was. Fantastic job by him. And you would never suspect the same guy that does a little voice like this. I do the little voices. And, you know, all those... <laughs> terrible movies he put out but he did really really great in that so that gives me high hopes for becky moving on to what i think is the big big news of the week for horror uh david arquette is basically almost signing up for scream five he's expressed great interest obviously along with nev campbell who has already was in talks matthew lillard is in talks to come back Kevin Williams is the executive producer, and this is also coming to us from uh, the team behind Ready or Not. Uh, they're going to be the ones um, 
putting this out. I will be a part of the Lodomus Gaming Dynasty Empire. Uh, Dominion, we prefer Dominion. Oh my god! As far as the writing, uh, it's co-written by James Vander Bilt and uh, Guy Busick, who's Ready or Not, Castle Rock, um, with Projection X Entertainment. I don't know. Do we want a Scream 5? I, I asked you guys over on the community tab about this. And so far, your answers was a astounding yes, we needed it. Uh, thank you to everybody that voted. Um, we had 73 votes, and most of them was 66% said yes, you want another Scream. Um, I think this is the only way to do this, where you bring back the original cast, you kind of have a great send off for them. Although Scream 4 was kind of that moment of a send off. So hopefully this will be good. I don't know quite the story. Um, none of that has been said yet, obviously, but we just know it's kind of officially happening. Uh, no, no word on the uh, release date or any of that information or the story. So yeah, Scream 5. I can't believe it's actually happening. And moving on to theme park news. Do, 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 do. Breaking news. Disney Springs had their reopening. Um, if you remember, Universal Orlando was the first to do it. And then now uh, Disney Springs had followed suit. And basically, it, these are things that you want to know before you go. Temperature screenings prior to entry, obviously. Face coverings are required for ages three and up. Uh, limited parking and reduced entrances, so you can't just park anywhere. Um, physical distancing practices. Yeah, because I see that all the time. Uh, temporary operation modifications. Um, they are limiting the number of guests visiting the property. So that's how that's supposed to go. Hours are reduced in set locations and an increase focus on disaffecting in sanitation. Um, some of the locations open up, I believe they said it was uh, 44 outlets had opened and more will be opening uh, come May 27. So if you're going to Disney Springs anytime soon, please don't bring a, a, a portable grill and cook some hot dogs. They have places for you to eat there. I'm just putting that out there. And following suit, because Universal Orlando loves to burst the bubble of Disney, they announced that they are reopening not just one, but both of their parks, along with City Walk, which was already open. So I have a video covering all this, so I'll leave it at the end of this video and down in the description box. But in short, uh, the park will be opening fully operational by June 5th. And pretty much everything I just covered in Disney Springs is gonna be the same over here, but a little bit more uh, embraceive. They're gonna have USO ambassadors will be scattered throughout the park, uh, helping guests understand, you know, just keeping an eye on everything. Um, team members are gonna be checked, we're gonna be checked. Face masks are required. Um, if you don't have one, uh, they will provide you one, so that's no worries. Uh, all 3D glasses uh, will be handed out individually. All the effects like water water effects on the rides will be uh, turned off, as well as the single ride uh, portion of any kind of attraction, which kind of sucks when I think about it because I love Man in Black, the single rider line. That kind of sucks. But single rider line will be all um, eliminated for now. Uh, mobile ordering, is pretty much enforced although if you do have cash they will be able to take that it's just a separate kind of um procedure they have to go through to do that so no buffet or self serve options will be available in restaurants which kind of sucks because i don't know how that's going to go with hard rock buffet because Side note here, if you ever come to the event or you go to Halloween Horror Nights, hit up the Hard Rock Breakfast Buffet. It is golden. Uh, it's it's the only the buffet I know on property. Uh, great way to fill up, especially if you want to head to the parks for all 
day. So um, no parades will be running during this uh, time as well. And any meet and greets, they're just going to meet you like from a distance and be like, hey, like hashtag panda does. Hey, that is pretty much covering most of that sanitizing will be, you know, at every single location. Um, I didn't see this about Volcano Bay. So ride vehicles, rifts, rafts. I said rifts and life vests will be uh, cleaning will be placed in water for additional cleaning as needed. Number of tubes in the lazy river uh, will be reduced and Volcano Bay will reduce the number of guests per raft slide and lawn chairs will be placed in a cluster to support travel uh, party seating uh, separated of six feet apart. So there you go. Um, Everything will be open by June 5th for Universe Orlando. Uh, what does that mean for Horror Nights? Now, uh, this is a little bit bonus news. Uh, if you didn't already know, they had a buy one, get one deal on a single day ticket for Horror Nights. It was set to expire, I believe, like June 5th or 6th or somewhere around that time. And then I was expecting us to maybe kind of get an announcement right afterwards to open up for you know uh more ticket sales and our big first announcement but now that ticket uh sale has been extended until july sometime i, I don't know yes it has been extended to july 20 second so i'm not quite sure what that means for horror nights and announcements i was thinking well it's going to end up and then we're going to get an announcement by the end of june because hollywood has stated multiple times that they're going to have an announcement sometime by the end of june so not quite sure if orlando's going to follow suit and just go ahead and have ticket sales along with this deal or we're going to wait until after july 22nd for the announcements to kind of roll out kind of sucks if that's the case but hey at least the event is going to happen nonetheless we still don't know any of the details of how they're going to do uh, scare zones or how they're going to do shows um that is a big one right there because i don't know how do you do academy of villains and seat all the people with them being spaced out not quite sure how that's going to happen unless they just do it in the street um, but still how do you you know spread out people how do you not have people uh, bundled on each other at this event not quite sure how that's going to be handled the operations department but anyway that has been it for zombie bite the week of may 22nd thank you guys for tuning in if you have any comments any uh, concerns any questions anything you'd like to see me cover or more so or more less leave it down in the comment section leave this video a thumbs up Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't already subscribed, obviously. But thank you guys. That is it. Adios. I'm out of here. Have a great Memorial Day weekend. Uh, watch some horror movies. Eat some barbecue. Well, I guess those go hand in hand. Maybe. Anyway, I'm out of here. Peace out.